Wisconsin weather for 20 years. Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. Our weather is going to turn warmer and more active. High temperatures over the next week or so, for the most part, will be running above normal. And on many of those days, we will see temperatures up into the 30s, about 5 to 10 degrees above normal for this time of year. So after a stretch of cold weather that lasted a couple of weeks, we're going to get back into an El Nino winter type weather pattern as we wrap up January and head into February. And that means above to much above normal temperatures will return. Today was the warmest day in a week with highs in the mid to upper 20s. And it's a sign of things to come. 27 degrees right now in Appleton. It is 25 degrees in Green Bay. We're after a cloudy day. Skies have now cleared out. We are looking at some lake effect snow right near the shoreline of Lake Michigan. The heaviest snow has been from, let's say, two rivers up to two creeks in a rather persistent snow band that continues to work off towards the south and west. Now, right near the shoreline of Lake Michigan, most areas will pick up a dusting to an inch throughout the night. But if a snow band can sit in one spot for an hour or two or maybe longer, then it's not out of the question that we could see two to four inches in a few isolated locations. Our main weather makers today, an area of high pressure to our west and the big storm off to the south and east. Between it, a northeast wind, and that's why we are seeing some lake effect snow. But obviously, the big weather story today, tomorrow, Sunday, and into next week is going to be the nor'easter that's going to just be pounding the mid-Atlantic states as we move through the next 24 to 48 hours. We have blizzard warnings from Washington, D.C., all the way up through New York City. You can see here on Precision Cast how this whole thing evolves as we move through the night into tomorrow morning. Very heavy snow is going to fall. We're going to have high winds gusting over 50 miles per hour, some thunder and lightning, and some blowing and drifting. This is going to be the exact same storm that we saw about three weeks ago, except it's not going to last six to 10 hours. It's going to last 24 to 36 hours. And that's why the totals are going to be so much higher. A solid two to three feet of snow is likely from Washington to Baltimore, back to the mountains of Maryland and Virginia, where it's not out of the question that some spots could see 40 to 50 inches of snow. The last time we had a snowstorm that produced over 20 inches of snow was back in 1880. So it's been a while. Now, we're not going to see anything that heavy as we head through the next, let's say, uh, day or two or a couple of days. But we could see some heavy snow at times as we head through the next, you know, week or 10 days or 14 days. We're going to get a little more of an active weather pattern here across northeast Wisconsin. So tonight, variable cloudiness, a few lake flakes, overnight lows will be near 20 degrees. Once again, that snow could be briefly heavy right near the shoreline of Lake Michigan. Tomorrow, plenty of clouds. High temperatures will be in the upper 20s to around 30 degrees. Quiet weather on Sunday, some nice weather. A system moves in on Monday, probably producing our biggest snowfall. So far this month, that's not saying much, an inch or two. That could linger into Tuesday with highs in the upper 20s. We cool down on Wednesday, lower 20s, and then we warm up again as we head into Thursday and Friday of next week. Maybe some 40s, actually, as we head towards next weekend, Stacy, with the chance for some more snow. One of my best friends in high school and the best man at my wedding has been texting me all week from Maryland, how much are we going to get? And I said, a whole lot, Emilio. But you know what people say to me when a big snowstorm is headed towards northeast Wisconsin? What did they say, Cameron? It's just snow. <laughs> <laughs> this is more than just snow in this case, though, Stacey. Yes, I know. I know you're excited about it. Yes, so. I wish I was there. It'd be All a right. lot of fun. All right. Thanks, Cameron. Well, surgery can be scary, but a new state-of-the-art...